What a shock. The NHS has had billions of pounds of extra funding tossed at it over the past year, and yet it's performing worse than ever. There are now 7.1 million people on waiting lists for NHS hospital treatment. Under 70% of patients arriving at A&E in October were seen within the four hour limit, which was a record low. In October, 32,999 callers with medical emergencies had to wait over two hours for an ambulance. Why is the NHS performing so abysmally when they've received countless billions in extra taxpayer funding this year to counteract the impact of the COVID pandemic? because that money's been squandered on protecting the non-jobs of several layers of parasitic, incompetent, bonoidal middle management. Meanwhile, the nurses' trade union, RCN, has absolutely lost its mind, threatening strike action if nurses don't get a 17.6% pay rise. Clearly convinced that working at the heart of one of the world's best funded yet worst performing health services deserves generous financial reward. Almost inevitably, Ramonas everywhere have crawled out from under their misery rocks to blame NHS problems on staff shortages, claiming that all the nurses and doctors have gone home because of Brexit. In fact, over the past year, the number of NHS employees has risen by 2.3%, whilst migration to the UK, both legal and illegal, is at an all-time record high. People in this country are struggling with rampant inflation, insane home energy bills, extortionate food prices, crippling mortgage rates, and they can no longer be expected to prop up an NHS rendered unfit for purpose by huge levels of waste inefficiency and belligerent buck passing by the people employed within it. There should be no extra funding and no talk of pay rises until we see figures improve. Because every time we're told the NHS is in crisis, as we repeatedly have been over the past couple of decades, none of us is allowed to raise the possibility that maybe, just maybe, the people that work within it are not doing a good enough job. For too long, the NHS has been off limits, beyond reproach and above criticism. And that has landed us in the position we now find ourselves in, which is that millions of sick and suffering people across the country have no access to treatment.